Well, hi there. I'm just going to go through some examples, um, assuming that you've already seen uh, the introduction videos to uh, the exponent rules. Um, once you know the exponent rules, these kinds of questions aren't very difficult. In fact, they can be pretty quick. Um, so what we've learned from the videos is that when you multiply uh, situations where you have uh, powers with the same base, all you do when you're multiplying is you add the exponents and as you might guess when you're dividing and you have powers with the same base see the 4 each time what you do is you subtract the exponents so we're gonna practice that here for all of these questions that you see here and a few more on the other page so let's try them right now when you have this situation here 7 to the exponent 3 7 times 7 exponent 4 times 7 squared. All you do is add the exponents. So 3 plus 4 plus 2, well 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 2 is 9. We are done. We've expressed it as a single power. Okay. Now it does say to evaluate. If you had to evaluate whenever your uh, worksheets tell you to do that, you're actually just going to say what's 7 to, to the power of 9, 7 exponent 9. So I'm just going to quickly get that. Oh my goodness, it's a crazy big number. 4353607. I don't know if I got that right. Let's check. I believe I did. I didn't put the commas in, but anyway, the important part is really this part right here. Generally, what I want students to do is to be able to just express it as a single power. This part here is just whether or not you can type something in the calculator properly. Um, so the most important part is expressing as a single power and let's do that again here. Remember we're multiplying we have the same base so you write down the same base again it's just negative 8 and we add the exponents 3 plus 2 is 5. We're done but if we want to evaluate um, it's good to put it in brackets especially if it's a negative base, so negative 8, whoops, and this calculator you have to hit the 8 first and then the negative, so whoops, I'm going to clear everything hopefully, there we go, 8 and then a negative 8 to the exponent, x exponent y as you might be able to see here, to the fifth power, and because it's an odd number, an odd exponent our answer is going to be odd, but that's another video, I suppose. Um, but the answer will be, um, I guess there's not enough space for me to write it in there. Uh, let's look again. 3, 2, 7, 6, 8. Negative 3, 2, 7, 6, 8. Negative 32,768. All right, let's move on. Remember when we're dividing? we're subtracting, okay? We're subtracting the exponents. So move left to right. 9 minus 4 is 5 and 5 minus 3 is 2, okay? And if we evaluate that we get 16. Okay, let's move to the next one. The base is 5 over 6, 5 sixths, if you like to say it that way. Remember we're dividing so when you divide, you subtract the exponents. And if we evaluated this, this one's a little more interesting because it's a, it's a fraction with an exponent on the outside. Just remember that the exponent on the outside goes to meet. When you evaluate, it goes to meet everybody on the inside, okay? Um, yes, we could just punch this in the calculator, but we should, we should really know what's going on. So the 2 will go to meet everybody on the inside here. Okay, so 5 to the power of 2 is 25. 6 to the power of 2 is 36. And then if you, if you are able to, you could reduce this fraction. And I'm just trying to think if 25 over 36 can be reduced. And I don't believe it can. So in this case, we're done. Okay, let's move to the next question. With these kinds of questions, I generally deal with the numerator first and then the denominator. So let's look at the numerator here. If you can, it's pretty small. It's um, the 
base is 2 thirds. And remember, we're, we're multiplying, so we're going to add the exponents. 3 plus 2 is 5. And on the bottom, we have this. So remember, when we're dividing, all we have to do is subtract the exponents. So 5 minus 4 is 1. So the answer is really just 2 thirds. And we could leave it like this. I don't know if most teachers want you to take a calculator and go 2 divided by 3. It's a repeating decimal, 0 0.6 over and over again. So I'm just going to leave it there. Okay, let's move to the next example, the next page. Um, it's basically giving us some questions that have variables as well. So where you have an m here and an m here, that's the same base. And it says to simplify. That means we don't have to evaluate these. In fact, all we have to do is come up with a simplification of these. So 6 and 8, we're going to add them. Why? Because we're multiplying two exponents with the same base, or two powers with the same base. 6 plus 8 is 14. And that is all. We're done that question. Look at the next question. When you see a question like this, first let's deal with the 8 and the 4. Those are called coefficients. They are the number that appears in front of the variable. So first of all, just think about 8 divided by 4. Well, we know that's 2. What about k to the 9th divided by k to the 5th? Well, it's going to be k to the, subtract the exponents, 9 minus 5, you get 4. And we're done that question as well. Let's move on. Once again, let's deal with the, uh, the coefficients, or the numbers that we see in the front of all of this. So negative 2 times 5, if you remember your, your math, you'll remember that a negative number and a positive number multiplied make a negative number. 2 times 5 is 10, so there we go. a squared times a to the 7th. Well, it's a to the, add the exponents, 7 plus 2 is 9. b cubed, or b to the power of 3, or b exponent 3 times b. Remember, there's an invisible 1 here. Okay, So that would be b to the 4th, because 3 plus 1 is 4. We are done this question. We can move on. This question here, Whoa. Let's deal with the top first, the numerator, then we'll deal with the bottom. Okay, and hopefully you can see this. It's very small. I will try and zoom in when I edit this. Negative 2 times 8 is negative 16. x times x squared. Feel free to pause and put the answer in before me. It's x cubed. y cubed times y cubed is y exponent 6. And on the bottom, underneath it all, we still have the same thing that we had to begin with. Now we're dividing, okay? So we're dividing. We're taking what's on top here and dividing it by what's on the bottom. So I'm going to go negative 16 divided by 4. Well, that would be negative 4, okay? Because 16 divided by 4 is 4, and then it's a negative x cubed divided by x squared. Subtract the exponents. That leaves us with x to the 1, or just x. I'm just going to leave it as x. And y to the 6th divided by y to the 4th is y squared. If we happen to have negative exponents, that would change our answer. This would go out on the bottom, but that's another video. It's a video that you should watch on positive, or sorry, on negative exponents. Okay? zero and negative exponents. That's an important one to learn. Do I have any more examples here? I have no more examples. So maybe I'll put a link at this point and then you'll be able to easily get to those other videos. Anyway, good luck on your math homework and whatever math you happen to be doing, which probably is on exponents at this point in time. Good luck. Take care.